Hello YouTube friends, this is my review for Sir Whoop Ass Immortal, Immortal Death on PC. Ignore the giant middle finger as well because that is um, letting you know that you have your um, superpower. So yeah, um, I'm not intending to do that. <laughs> I don't mean, oh, I forgot about that part. Um, yeah, um, this game is a trip by the way. Um, you gotta fight the IRS, and if you win, you get the money. <laughs> um, this is a great story. It's a bit goofy. It has comedic humor. Every time you get a new upgrade, your character does a little goofy dance, which immediately sold me on the game. <clears throat> the combat's great. It's made by a small company, which is not a big deal. I mean, it might be their first game, and if it is their first game, they did a wonderful job. If they're making a sequel or planning to make a sequel, I'm looking forward to it. I highly recommend trying this game out. It is a blast. I did have some issues with it, like, um, I'm trying to remember what it was. The um defense system, like there's no actual. I thought I don't remember if there's any actual like armor in the game. It's only cosmetics, which you don't have to pay for with money, actual money, which is great. There's a defense stat in the game that you can get, but I don't think it actually worked when I played the game. It might have, I just, I didn't notice it working on my end, so it could have been a bug I had, or, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, as you can see there, like, once you get your, your, um, power-up bar full, <coughs> your middle finger comes out. So, I'm not intending to do that, by the way. It's just something that happens. Um, honestly, I would write this game at a 8.5 because it's a comedic game, great combat. There might have been one bug in it, like I said, the armor bug because of the armor stat. Not There's no actual armor, which is upsetting. Like, there's no, like, armor you can put on your character, which is upsetting. So... If there was, then it wouldn't have been an issue, but, and I could be wrong on that because it has been a while since I've played the game, and that's your, um, power. You just do, like, a whirlwind type thing. That's really all it is. Is it needed? Uh, not really, but it is helpful. <clears throat> And do you have to buy the cosmetic armors to play the game? No. You don't have to. They don't benefit you in any way, which is good. Because they're just cosmetic armors. And all they cost is um, gold. So, But I had a blast with it regardless of the minor issue I had with it. But, so again, I do recommend buying it. It is fun. Support small indie devs. They need all the support they can get. Because right now, honestly, triple A games are, um, yeah, <laughs> they're not worth it right now. From for in my opinion, there is a blocking mechanic as you just saw there. I don't remember using it all too often. I well, I never really do in games anyway, because I'm always like a, a, I'm always a hitter, versus a blocker. So it's probably why I die a lot, honestly. <clears throat> but this has been my review and I hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys do pick up this game I hope you all enjoy it as well as much as I did and I will see you all next time have a wonderful day